Looking ahead, it's Marathon Monday. Boston hosting the 120th running of the Boston Marathon. The race has certainly taken on new meaning following the attacks at the finish line three years ago. Last night, the runners gathered at the West in Boston for the annual pre-marathon pasta dinner. That includes a team of runners called 415 Strong. Most of the 25 runners are made up of marathon bombing survivors. Also at the dinner, actor Jake Gyllenhaal and bombing survivor Jeff Bowen. They joined the Boston Medical Center's team. That's where Ball, uh, Ballman and so many others were treated following the attacks. Gyllenhaal will play Ballman in an upcoming movie based on Jeff Ballman's memoir. There are also several local runners from our area competing in today's race. Iowa News reporter Rosie Woods has more for us this morning. She is live along the marathon route with the very latest. Good morning. Well, we're in Natick right now. That's the 15K mark for the marathon. That basically means we're about 9.3 miles away from Hopkinton, which is the start. Now, we will be seeing people starting to run by here around 9.30, 10 o'clock. That's what they're expecting for at least the elite runners. But for now, it's really just getting started. They're putting up a lot of the blockades and making sure that everything's fine. But it is important to know there's about 30,000 runners that are expected to be here today with around 5,000 law enforcement officers covering the route. And police are asking spectators to carry all personal items in clear plastic bags and not to bring any backpacks, strollers, coolers or drones. And again, there will be a decent presence from local Rhode Island law enforcement here today. Michael Lemoyne, he's the acting police chief in Woonsocket. He'll be running today for the second time he ran last year. He's running again today and he's running to raise funds for Alzheimer's. He tells me that he's not worried about running and he's even less worried about his family being on the sidelines. Uh, they changed the rules for runners. There are no more bandit runners. Those are the unofficial runners who just happen to jump in. Uh, you have to have an official entry. You have to wear the official number. Uh, if you don't, you'll be taken right out, if not arrested. Um, so the marathon route will be lined with uh, no less than 5,000 police officers. Uh, I'm sure they'll both be uniformed and undercover. And I also know that they also hired uh, private, contractor, uh, private contractors to provide security as well. Now again, we will be here all morning long watching as spectators make their way to the sidewalks, getting ready. Everybody will have their chairs, getting their posts ready for the entire day of watching all of these runners. But coming up next, we will have more from local residents that are running in this race, so stay tuned for that. Live in Natick with the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.